Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about enantiomers. Now I think we are all familiar with the term isomerism but there are different types of isomerism. There is structural isomerism which is for example this and the definition of it is that it has the same molecular formula but they have a different connectivity for example this molecule and this molecule they have the same number of atoms the implied hydrogen in these two and these two and also the implied hydrogens here but they are different in the way oriented in three-dimensional space but stereoisomerism is the same molecular formula with the same connectivity but they differ in the way they are oriented in three-dimensional space for example these two molecules it doesn't really matter what atoms are here as long as it's an atom and it will work um, now these two molecules they are stereoisomers because they are the same molecule see they are the same molecular formula the same connectivity but they differ in the way they are oriented in three-dimensional space such as the X going over here and the Z over to the right side and the Y going a bit to the right rather than the left and things like that now let's talk about why Now I want to talk about enantiomers. Enantiomers are molecules that are non-superposable mirror images of each other. So they are stereoisomers, but when you take the mirror image of it and rotate it 180 and try to overlap the result with the original, they're not the same because they do not overlap properly. Uh, now, the best example I have is our hands. If I were to take this, the mirror image of this hand, I'd get this hand. Now, if I rotate this hand 180 and try to overlap the hands, I won't be able to connect the fingers properly. I won't get to overlap it properly. That's basically what an enantiomer is. The molecules do the same thing. Suppose we have this molecule. We take the mirror image, which is this, because the x's are facing one way and etc etc. And we rotate it 180. The result will be this. And if we try to overlap these two, we'll find that the w and the x will be the same but the Z and the Y won't overlap properly. Now, the molecules that have an enantiomer display a quality called chirality. Chirality is something we typically assign to a carbon that has four different substituents sticking out of it. So, I have some examples here. This, bro this molecule, it has a bromine atom here, the implied hydrogen, which will be here, and two identical methyl groups. Now, these aren't for different substituents because we have two identical groups. So if we were to take the mirror image of this and then rotate it, it will over precisely overlap. But this molecule can't because we have four different substituents, the bromine, which is here, 
the implied hydrogen and one one carbon chain and a two carbon chain and if we were to test this as if take the mirror image sorry if my drawing isn't all that straight that's not what I'm trying to focus in this video if we were to take the mirror image it will look something like this and if we were to rotate it 180 degrees we would in fact get a separate uh, we would in fact get a molecule that won't overlap properly because the wedge bond will go to the dash bond because if you look at it logically if at the start this bromine was going out of the board and if you rotated 180 degrees as you can see from my hand it will go into the board the plane of the board at least now that we've got that covered let's go through some more examples now as we can see already from here we have four different substituents so this will be chiral now this molecule has two of the same substituents so they will overlap properly if you were to go and test it. So this molecule is a chiral. A being the substitute of not chiral. Now that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos about math and science, make sure to subscribe, leave a like down below, and comment if you have any problems or confusions in this video and thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye